Well, hi everybody. This is Cordell Bailey with the Department of Transportation or otherwise known as Officer Bailey. The famous Officer Bailey. Famous in my own mind, of course. But hi everyone. I'm glad you could join us. I've missed you guys so, so much. Um, I just want to remind everybody to be safe out there. We're going to talk about a little bit of safety tips here and uh, try to get you guys out there and get some exercise, having some fun, okay? Now, why be safe? Well, unfortunately, about 60 people died on a roadway two years ago, right? And last year wasn't much better. So we all need to be safe. We all need to work together and be a lot safer on our roadways. Now, it's important to find out how we get to where we're going, right? For example, let's say we're going to school, right? Some of us drive, some of us may walk, some of us may bike, right? We don't know. We're just uh, kind of going with the flow. Um, but we all get to school in different ways, right? Let's start off talking about coming to school by car. Now, coming to school by car, no problem, a lot of fun. Not a lot you can do there, right? But there are a couple of important things you need to remember. The most important is putting on that safety belt, right? Pulling that safety belt all the way over your shoulder and putting it in the clicker, right? To make sure you hear that clicking sound. If for some reason you don't hear that clicking sound, let the driver know, right? It has to be buckled the whole time you're in the car. Sometimes what can happen is a gummy bear can fall in there, right? A cheese it can fall in there, right? Or maybe it's your little brother or sister's finger. I don't know. But if you don't hear the clicking sound, again, always let the driver know. Now, when you get to school, always make sure that you're getting out on the passenger side of the car or the curb side of the car. Please don't get out on the street side of the car because when you do that, it puts you right in the middle of traffic, right? And that's not good. We have a lot of cars out there. Everybody's going too quick, not paying attention. If you get out on the driver's side or the street side, it puts you right in the middle of traffic. So anytime, whenever it's possible, try to get out on the sidewalk side of the car. Now, let's say we park across the street, right? Eh, no problem, right? But always try to walk down and find a crosswalk, right? Find a crosswalk, really, really important, right? We can't just cross wherever we want. Again, like I said, there's a lot of cars out there and drivers are going really, really too quick, okay? Now, let's talk about walking, right? Walking, I love to walk. Walking is super awesome. Now, over here on the ground is my crosswalk, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna walk from my school to my house over here, right? Now, first thing I do, is find the crosswalk, right? Now, if there's no crosswalk, you always wanna cross at the corner, okay? Really, really important. You don't wanna cross in the middle of the block. Park cars can block us, drivers can't see us, they're not expecting to see us, more importantly, right? And they're usually going at their fastest speeds, okay? So cross at the corner, but if there's a crosswalk, use the crosswalk. Now, when I get to the crosswalk, do I just start crossing automatically? Ah! Oh, that's crazy. No, you want to stop and use the famous looking directions. That's where you look left, you look right, you look left again, you look forward, but you also look behind you. Now, why do you look behind you? Are you looking for zombies? No, there's no zombies. No, what you're looking for are turning cars. Now that happens at the corner, right? You walk up, you stop, and a driver pulls up, but he wants to make a turn right in front of you, okay? Now, what you can do is you look over at Mr. Driver, right? Don't cross, look over at Mr. Driver, give him a wave, make eye contact, very, very important. You wanna make sure that driver knows you're there. If that driver still keeps looking the other way, just stop and let him go. Now, I'm gonna start crossing, but wait a minute, here comes a car. Now, I don't know how fast that car is coming, it's really hard to tell, and I certainly don't know if that driver sees me. So wait till he comes to a complete stop, make eye contact, give him a wave, and then start crossing. Now I'm looking at him, where should I be looking now? The other direction, right? All streets go two ways. I wanna make sure the other drivers stop as well. Now when I'm crossing, I don't run, but I do go quickly, right? I don't have a conversation with my friend. I don't eat a sandwich, right? I don't play on my iPad or I don't, I don't mess around. I'm always looking just to make sure all the vehicles are gonna stop, cross quickly, don't run, 
and safely get to the other side, okay? That's important. Now, on some of our busier streets, we have something called a signal, right? And you guys don't know what that is. You push the button, a walking guy comes up, you cross the street. Super easy, right? These are on our busiest of busy streets, right? Streets can be really, really wide. Um, a lot of things going on there. Cars turning, red lights, green lights, you know? So many things going on, okay? But it is really important, you know, you stop, you push the button and you wait for the walking guy, okay? Really important. Just be calm, wait, stand back, stand behind the pole. Don't wait out in the street, right? But when the walking guy does come on, it's your turn to cross the street. You know what though? Just because that thing told you to go, doesn't mean you just start crossing. You stop and again, you look for cars, making sure people aren't gonna run any red lights. This happens often. Or also you look for turning drivers, okay? Cross quickly, and when you get to the other side, you're good, okay? Pay attention the whole time. Don't chat with your friends. Again, don't be eating a sandwich, okay? Now, if you get to that same corner and there's a red hand up, right? That means don't cross, okay? Don't cross. Way here this morning, I saw a bunch of kids running across a really busy street, uh, and I know what they were thinking. They're like, oh, I don't have to worry about it. There's no cars coming. I'm in a hurry. I got things to do. And they ran across this really busy street. That's not good, right? Because sometimes on these streets, these cars can be coming so fast, you may not have time to react. And we're never in that much of a hurry. So you wanna stop, right? Push the button and wait for the next walking guy. I get to that same corner and the hand's flashing and it's going five, four, three, two. I wanna stop and again, push the button. It means I don't have enough time to cross that busy street, okay? The reason why is there's a countdown, right? And if you get there and it's in the middle of the countdown, that light can change when you're in the middle of the street and it's not good, okay? So again, the countdown's going, just stop, push the button and wait for the next walking guy. Another thing I wanna talk about is parking lots. Now people are always saying parking lots, oh, super safe, it's a parking lot. It's not even on the street, right? What do I gotta worry about in a parking lot? But unfortunately, parking lots can be super, super dangerous, right? Now, the reason why, there's two things going on. There's drivers looking for parking, and they're not looking for people, and they're like, oh, look, over there, parking place, ah! And they're not paying attention, okay? Happens all the time. Now, something else that happens too. Let's say you're out there walking around, and all of a sudden, the white lights come on the back of one of the parked cars. What does that mean? Well, that means that car is backing out. Now, what I shouldn't do is just to keep walking, right? Ah, he sees me. I'm just going to keep going and going. No, don't do it. Drivers may not see you when they're backing up, right? So if you see a car starting to back up, stop, take a couple steps back, and give them a wave. And make sure they see you, right? If they don't wave back, go ahead and let them back out, and then you're good to go once they back out, okay? Uh, but you just don't want to just keep walking, right? Because a lot of times what can happen is they don't see you, and they can back out really, really quickly, okay? So that's parking lots. Now, let's talk about bikes. Bikes are my favorite thing. I ride all over San Jose. Uh, I ride to work every day. Uh, the reason why I do this is because I'm super lazy, right? I don't do it for exercise. A lot of people do it for exercise. A lot of people do it because they love to go biking. They go biking up the mountain right here. Um, I do it because I'm lazy and the parking lot is always full and I don't live that far. So I think it's a lot of fun to ride my bike. Now, let's say for an example, I'm gonna ride to school, right? That is super, super awesome. Now, where's my bike? Oh, here it is. Here is my awesome bike. Now. I know it's a little little for me, but for Christmas, I am asking for a new bigger bike. But for right now, this is my bike and I love my bike. Now, a couple things I'm gonna need before I get off to school, right? I'm gonna need a bike lock. Really, really important, right? Because I don't wanna get to school and go, oh, I forgot my bike lock, I'll just put it in the rack, right? Could disappear. Unfortunately, a lot of people decide to borrow bicycles here in our fair city uh, and it's not great and this goes for at home too let's say you're having fun riding around you get home throw the bike on the grass and you go in don't do it really you want to lock that bike up or put it securely away okay now before i start riding there's a couple really important things i need to do we call this the abc quick check right this is where i look at my bike and i go a air do i have air in my tires yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, that's good. B, brakes. Do my brakes work? Hmm, yeah, they do. There's two types of brakes. The hand brakes 
and the back pedal brakes, right? Back pedal brakes, usually they work no problem, but the hand brakes, you wanna make sure that they work really good, okay? If they don't work, have your parents look at it if they know how to work on bikes. If not, it needs to go to the bike shop. You have to have brakes. Brakes are the most important part about riding. C, chain, is my chain on? Is it good? It's not too rusty? It's good? Okay. Wonderful, right? And if your chain's not on, what can happen, right? Is if your driveway's on a slope or you go to get on it and it's off, it can lock up the tire and you can go over the handlebars. That's not good, right? So airbags chain, check. I wanna check, ABC check, right? I'm looking at it, nothing hanging off, no gremlins, looks good, okay? Now, quick, the quick part is looking at my quick release. Now some of you older guys might have a bike, a little bit bigger bike than mine, I'm jealous, but it might have something called quick release. That's that little lever down here where you move it, you can take off your tire really easily, but you gotta make sure that thing is always in the up position because if it's all the way in the down position, your tire could be loose and could fall off if you go over a bump. So A, B, C, quick check. Super easy to remember, right? Only take you a second, now I'm ready to go. But wait, I need my riding jacket. I love my riding jacket, right? Now, if I dress in all black, I like to wear black, but not when I'm riding. If I wear black and in the morning or in the evening or at nighttime, I'm invisible, right? Nobody can see me, okay? But if I have my super cool riding jacket, love this riding jacket, and I put it on, right? I am super green, super fluorescent. Actually, I look a little like Shrek, I get it, no worries. But you know what, drivers can see me. Really, really, really important, okay? Maybe gloves too, I have a pair of reflective gloves. I love to wave at people with them all the time just to make sure they see me when I'm riding, okay? Most importantly, my helmet. You need to wear a helmet. It's a law in California that if you're under 18, you are required to wear that helmet anytime while scootering, biking, I don't know, roller skates, anything with wheels really, you need to have the helmet. Do I need to wear it in the car? Sure, if you want to, go ahead, right? But you know what? Especially biking, skateboarding, cycling, wear that helmet. It's a good idea and it's also the law. Now, you put the helmet on, right? You make sure it's snug, level, right? This one has a little tightener in the back. Make sure it's tight on my head and I buckle it and I'm ready to go. If I don't buckle it, and I see this all the time, see kids out there riding with their buckle hanging, flapping in the wind, making all sorts of noise. If I'm on a crash, if I crash, what's this helmet gonna do? It's gonna go wah and fly right off my head. So always, always, always buckle your helmet, okay? Now, planning a route, really important. Make sure you plan a route, you know where you're going. Maybe stay away from busy streets if possible, right? Stay on the residential streets. And if you have to cross the busy streets, the same pedestrian rules apply, use the crosswalk. Um, but always ride with the flow of traffic, right? That means cars going here, park cars here, and I'm riding the same direction as traffic. If I ride against traffic, it's really not a good idea. If two cars are in the same lane and they're going like this, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Right, so always ride with the flow of traffic. Really, really important, okay? Stop signs are for bicycles too, believe it or not, right? That stop sign is for everybody, for cars, for motorcycles, for bicycles. Everybody needs to stop at stop signs, right? Stop, look, and make sure the driver sees you, and if he waves you on, go ahead and go. But remember, in a crash between a car and a bike, it's always the bike that gets hurt. So you let the car go. I always do, right? I go ahead, Mr. Driver, you know, go ahead and get out of my way. But if they say to go ahead and go, make sure that it's all clear and then you can go, okay? But planning those routes, really, really, really important. Riding at night, something I love to do. I ride all over our fair city at night. Having a light, you must have a light, right? It's a law as well. Uh, anytime in the nighttime, you must have a front light, just like this, and a rear light, right? Have them on, have them charged, have them ready to go. Uh, and you never know, have them on your bike at all times, because you never know, maybe you're out later with your friends, or you're having some fun, or you're at a friend's house for dinner, um, and you come home a little bit later, having that reflective jacket, having those lights, really, really, really important, okay? Now, Having fun on our bike is a really fun thing to do. But you know, all these things I'm talking about is part of our, actually our walk and roll program for the city of San Jose. Now you might ask yourself, why do we have a walk and roll program? 
Well, let me tell you, right? We have the walk and roll program for three reasons, right? For three reasons. And your school is involved in this program. Now, I know it's been a year. We haven't done the walk to school days. We haven't done the international walk to school day. But believe you me, it's all coming back, okay? Now, the reasons why we would have a walk and roll program is you guessed it, right? Exercise. We all need more exercise. I know we've all been shut inside for way too long. We wanna get out there, we wanna have some fun, get some exercise, that is really an important thing. Even a quick walk or a ride to school in the morning gives us some extra exercise, some fresh air, and wakes us up in the morning, right? I'm, I'm in school, I'm ready to learn. If I fall out of my warm car with my teddy bear and just kind of walk into class and I'm all, oh, whoa, school, I'm not awake. If you get a little exercise in the mornings, you're more ready to learn and ready for the day, okay? Second reason is the environment. Anytime we don't have to start a stinky old car to go short distances, it's a really good idea, right? We're saving the planet, it's super awesome, um, and we're using our pedal power or our feet power, right? We're not using any natural resources to do that. Any gasoline, any oil, anything like that, right? So the environment, and last one is safety. Believe it or not, if we have a lot less cars around our school zones or even in our streets, it makes it safer for everybody, right? And so using those bikes, those skateboards, those scooters, our feet, right, is a great way of getting around. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day and have some fun.